was a major scare for students and staff of a local high school today after a report of an active shooter. That report turned out to be a hoax, which is one of several cases of swatting here in Ohio today. This particular case happened at Coventry High School, which, which went on lockdown this afternoon. Now, News 5's Bob Jones is there live with the latest on what happened. And Bob, you're here to bring us an update on what you know so far. Well, Courtney, the concern here at Coventry High School is over, but the investigation continues. There was definitely a couple of very stressful hours today, and now the focus for deputies is trying to figure out who made that hoax call that really disrupted the day. Here's what happened and what we learned throughout the day today. Multiple crews with the Summit County Sheriff's Office converged on the high school, along with other police departments and paramedics. The huge response was the result of a 911 call that was made around 1 o'clock this afternoon, claiming there was an active shooter in Coventry High and the gunman was hiding in a bathroom. Students were initially locked down and then evacuated floor by floor while police searched the entire building. No one was hurt and emergency crews determined there was not a shooter and this was a hoax. Parents learned that everyone was safe, but it was still very stressful for them waiting to be reunited with their kids. We talked with one student who wasn't sure what was going on at the time. It wasn't like the, the usual, oh, it's a lockdown. It was like, you know. Sounded more serious. Yeah, like they, they just kind of yelled over and it was a real quick, like, oh, everybody, you know, get somewhere. This is a lockdown, you know. And then I was with teachers and I'm like, is this fake? Is this real? What is this? You know, and they're, they're kind of like, well, I don't know. And it's like, that's not good. This could be very dangerous, obviously, um, with people responding and, you know, it's, it's not only troublesome to the students and the parents, but it can be very dangerous as well. Inspector Bill Holland with the Sheriff's Department says it might be very challenging to try to figure out who placed that 911 call, but the goal is to try to figure that out and bring charges against that person. Again, a very serious situation in their mind because this created a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety out here in Coventry Township today. Live in Coventry Township, Bob Jones, News 5. Yeah, sounds like a flood of emotions for student teachers and staff. Thanks so much, Bob. We appreciate you. The ABC station in Columbus reports two schools there were also swatting victims today. Swatting is now a felony offense in Ohio. Governor DeWine signed it into law at the beginning of the year. People who make false or misleading reports could face up to 18 years in prison. But if someone gets hurt as a result of that call, violators could face years in prison.